Hello everybody, I'm Jeffrey Przinski and I'm back trying to get an old Star Trek game to work for Mac computers. Today I'm working on Star Trek Starfleet Command Volume 2. I'd like to have a great shout out to Mr. Foley from Trek Yards. He was actually able to help me get this game working for the Mac. So kudos to you. All right. Uh, first off, I want to say this game was very, very, very finicky. Uh, many people say this was a big improvement over the original Star Trek Starfleet Command series. Uh, in one of the previous videos, we were able to get Star Trek Starfleet Command Gold Edition, which is the first in the series, working for the Mac. So let's see if we can get this one working. All right. First off, please install Crossover. This program, I will have a link on StarTrekGames.net to show you exactly where to go get this program. Then you're also going to need your disks. Uh, in this case, I have them as images on my computer just so that way it's a little bit easier to get through the process. Now, these disks are images right here and Max open DMGs. So, what we need as well is a program called Daemon Tools, okay? So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm gonna mount them. So I'm gonna go ahead and select them both, open, and then Daemon Tools will open up and actually mount them. You can see right here the first disk is already mounted. And the nice thing is, uh, let me go ahead and uh, open this up to show you. Oh, yep, we will also need to mount that second disk. So let's go ahead and mount them both. Boom, there we go. We have the first one and the second one. All right, go ahead and move that over and immediately Crossover understands that you can install from this disk. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit install, and I'm going to go ahead and just say SC, uh, or SFC2, because uh, I've already got this installed, and I'm just gonna put video here. Ah, if I don't get ahead of myself. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. We're gonna select our bottle, it's not gonna be a Windows 98 bottle. It's gonna be a Windows 7 bottle. Okay, next up we're gonna say continue, install. It's, it's gonna go ahead and create this bottle for us. And there you go. Let's go ahead and hit install. <laughs> And the installation process is going to be pretty much just hit the next button, the yes button, next, next. Uh, I like to do this though. Instead of typical, I want to come into custom, hit next, and then I want to make sure that everything is checked, okay? Which it is. So now we hit next, hit next again. And it's going to go by pretty fast. Okay, here's where things get a little bit tricky. You need the second disc. Although it's already mounted, Crossover doesn't exactly know which drive it is. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Browse. You should see a different drive. If you, uh, I'm sorry, just click the up arrow once, select the D drive, hit OK. Now, Sometimes it doesn't take, like in this case, but you can actually just enter the path manually here, hit OK, and boom, it found the next disk. And there you go. All right, I hit finish. I do not install DirectX, so I'm gonna hit no. Now sometimes this uh, game can be very finicky, meaning that it'll work when it wants to during the initial setup. So right now I'm just gonna hit done and I will show you what I have here. Um, here we go. This is the one that I have working. What you may have to do, here I'll go to the video one, you may have to come into configure Starfleet 
uh, configure Star Trek Starfleet Command, make sure your direct draw HAL is set to a resolution of 1024 by 768. Okay, now since I already have this one working and I've been playing a little bit into it, I'm just going to go directly into my bottle, open this up, and in just a few moments it'll pop open the game, and there we go. All right. I'm just going to skip past this. It will generate an error after the intro plays, but you just hit close, wait a couple more seconds, and then boom, there you go. Now you're back onto the main screen. And uh, I guess we'll just play a very quick skirmish. I will be... Hmm. Let's see here. I will be the Mirak, and I will face off against the Federation, and I will select a uh, Dreadnought, Super Dreadnought, or Battleship. There we go. And let's go ahead and hit play. Prepare for attack! And let's go ahead and put the uh, game speed up as how high that we can. Now the Mirac are really cool because they get to have a lot of missiles, so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of them. Just a moment. Wow. That is a lot of missiles. I hope everybody enjoys playing this game, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video.